That's a million dollar question that no one is asking. Why are toxic drugs classified under pharmaceutical grade, yet food dyes are not given that classification? They're certified for use, but they're not pharmaceutical grade. A lot of the toxic byproducts in food dyes are not even in drugs that has never been tested long-term for biological effects on humans. Certain food dyes have been banned in Europe, but they are allowed in the US. The junk food industry that sells products with food dyes are heavily self-regulated. The FDA leaves it up to the food companies to do their own studies. There's also reports of FDA uh, revolving doors People work in the food industry, now they're working for the FDA, and they go back to the food industry. In 2021, there was a petition to ban a certain food dye, red number three, for cosmetics, which is a carcinogen even in small amounts, but they still allow it in children's cereal. There are a lot of problems with food dyes causing hyperactivity in children, neurological effects, but the big reason that they use these colorings in foods is to psychologically cause people to eat more of it. That's right, they've done studies and found that if certain foods have a certain color, people will eat more of it. Certain colors increase cravings, making it more attractive. But in junk foods, uh, we don't have that. We have this entire illusion, making it appear to be something that's fresh. So synthetic food dyes stimulate appetite. People will eat more of it if they color the food. And there's one report, uh, Kraft Food took out the coloring out of their mac and cheese in a certain country and the sales just dropped. So they put it back in. One synthetic pigment made from petroleum is extremely healthy. I'm going to get to that, but I first want to talk a little bit about natural coloring pigments in other foods, whether it's a pigment in egg yolks or even the pigment in salmon that makes it slightly reddish. Natural pigments are considered antioxidants. And this is why these pigments are good as anti-inflammatories. They help protect the cells and they especially help protect the mitochondria, which is the energy factory of the cell, where your body is taking food and converting it into energy. Dark leafy green vegetables have chlorophyll, that's green. Tomatoes have lycopene. These are all pigments that have a lot of cool, beneficial health properties. And also when you consume uh, grass-fed meat or beef or lamb, you get a lot of these phytonutrients in the meat because these animals eat grass and herbs. So now let's talk about the one synthetic petroleum dye that actually is good for you. And this dye is called methylene blue. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. It was one of the first drugs ever developed. And I'm going to answer the question, why would this methylene blue dye be so healthy whereas these other dyes are not. That's because methylene blue is pharmaceutical grade. They used it for uh, Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, even bladder infections and cancer. The other key difference that you need to know between methylene blue and these other synthetic food dyes, they're both made from petroleum, but the chemistry of methylene blue is completely different. Really what methylene blue does it gives the body energy even if there's damage within the energy factory. It's definitely good for any type of degenerative neurological disorder, but what about cancer? Because cancer originates from damaged mitochondria. Methylene blue comes in there, cleans things up, bypasses the damage, and reduces a lot of the oxidative stress, especially in your brain, especially for any type of chronic disease. This video is about consuming certain foods with pigments, not artificial or fake pigments, but real natural pigments and not just in plants but in animal products too like the egg yolks but even think about red meat that has color that has pigment too right so when we get into the synthetic dyes these don't act as antioxidants they don't reduce inflammation they don't fix your mitochondria they actually make it worse they don't have nutritional cofactors like the pigments in food actually does these have been linked to add causing tumors in rats and we don't have a lot of long-term research because who's going to spend money on that? Probably not industry. It can cause leaky gut in your GI tract. The effects are worsened when combined with preservatives. Well, I mean, take a look at junk food. They have a lot of preservatives. Some of these dyes are bioaccumulative, so they build up in the body. Whereas methylene blue does not accumulate. It actually, the kidneys get rid of it very easily. And again, because it's pharmaceutical grade, it doesn't have these impurities that this does. So I hope now you have a little more awareness on food dyes and why you should have your children avoid things like this with the dyes and things like this, and of course yourself. But methylene blue would be something that um, could help you, but also don't neglect the pigments 
in the rest of the food. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.